Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show, where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. My name is Yamitra Jojo Wadev, the only live past crazy specials. So what better place to be than here with me? I hope everybody is ready for this wonderful, wonderful Monday. I'm trying to find my pen. Second. Can you bring me my glasses? On my bed, I think. Again, good morning. Hey, good morning. Long time no see. <laughs> I know. I miss you, Lynn. I know, right? I was like, oh, gee. I know. Hey, how did you how did the program go yesterday? It was wonderful. There were, I was not, to be honest, I was not expecting a lot of people at all. Like, uh -huh. I was like, oh, it's just going to be a few people. But there was nowhere to sit. And Awesome. Um, awesome. So that's probably why I don't have a voice now. Um, <laughs> and then I already had, I was already coughing. And so now I have a sore throat. I have a cough. And it's just fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be an awesome, fantabulous Monday. Yes. With all of our liquid sh sunshine and all. It's going to be great. Girl. It is Girl. great because we woke up, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. A to the man, as you would say. A to the man. A to the man. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get started this morning because this will be a quick show. We will not be on here too long. Um because we have some other obligations that must occur on today. Yes. However, the funny trivia for today, I got to share it with you. I, 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 it just behooves me, all of these, these laws that we have on the books. But, guys, did you know that in 1899, Jacob Germain got the world's first what in New York? In 1899, y'all, he received the first speeding tickets <laughs> the first speeding how fast was it going girl 12 miles per hour <laughs> girl they were putting me in prison for life yes yes the first speeding ticket at 12 miles per hour y'all so be careful out there in those streets because <laughs> i know a lot of us and i'm i'm guilty too i, I get a speeding ticket in a heartbeat i have here especially in Georgia on these back roads where it's the worst place to be stopped and, and, and getting a ticket if we're just going to be truthful. But anyhow, let's move on to the next uh, trivia for this morning. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, what were Chihuahua dogs originally bred for? What? Y'all remember, remember that commercial back in the day, Yoki and Taco Bell, that little Chihuahua yeah. on there? They were really originally bred as a tasty meat. That's why everybody was saying back. Do you re you remember? I know I'm not the only one who remembered this back in the day when they used to say, "Oh, yes. don't go to Taco Bell. That's dog meat that you're yes. eating." Yes, guys, it's it's on the books. Chihuahua dogs were originally bred for meat. Just saying. All that right. Uh, reason ten thousand why we need to limit our meat intake. I'm right, just saying. Right. Exactly. But I mean, guys, you know how, how rumors go. It'll start out one way and then by the time it gets to you, it's something completely different from what was originally said in the beginning. Yes. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, right? Trinda says she remembered Yo Quiero Taco Bell. And that was my favorite little dog on TV, right? I can tell. <laughs> At that time, outside of Scooby-Doo. But I digress. I love Scooby. <laughs> I digress. Um, I had a quote for you guys this morning. Oh, yeah, it's by Jack Canfield, a quote for this morning, our fearless morning quote. Don't worry about failures. Worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. Mm. Yes, by Jack Canfield. Don't worry about your failures. Worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. What are those things that you wanted mm. to do you wish you had done that you did not do? That are legal. Yeah, let me just say that. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny, y'all. We were sitting around the table. I think it was last Sunday. Um, we were sitting around the table, and we were talking about investing. And one of my cousins, 
this is so so way off topic but one of my cousins said you know he said well lynn what do you think about investing in cannabis and my mom is sitting right here and my mom was like cannabis what is cannabis i was like oh lord i said mama weed mary jane all the names in the <laughs> she said oh boy <laughs> Hey, but he said, well, there's some opportunities out there. I was like, well, we're going to miss that particular opportunity. So be wise in the opportunities that you take, right? Do your research before you get started. And to, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the, if I knew then what I know now. Thank you guys for joining us for this financial confession and conversation this morning. I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yes, I said it, America's number one. So we're going to go ahead and talk about what are those three things I wish I knew before I started investing. And I want to share those um, with you. Maybe you have started investing. Are you thinking about investing? Are you wishing that you had? So let's <laughs> think through some of these things. And I'll share my top three. There are more than three. Let me be clear. There are definitely more than three. But these are the three that I'm going to share with you this morning because we are on a time constraint. And JoJo, give me the finger, not the middle finger. Finger, but give me the finger when it's time uh, for me to cut it short. Okay, we at 723 now. All right, all right. So the first thing I would say, guys, is don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. I wish I had taken that advice years ago when I was thinking about investing, even if it was just with a small amount. And the beauty of that is you hear all of the you know statistics, you see all of the charts, um, that are shared and if you start investing at this age this is the amount that you can have by this time at this percentage right so it gives you all this different information but oftentimes when you're young right so if you're young and you're listening to this listening good and it doesn't matter your age let me be clear on that right mm -hmm. if you haven't started it's okay start today figure out where you can get it done and get started right but what I wish I had done was figured that thing out earlier because when you're young, it, that's not of importance. You think retirement is so far down the road. You think that you don't even think about leaving the inheritance for your children's children because nine times out of 10, you don't have a child yet. So you're not, that's not on your radar. You're selfish. Shall I say, I was selfish. Let me bring that ownership back over here because I know me and I know the experiences that I had and, and the things that I did. I was selfish and that wasn't what was of most importance. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining uh, JoJo's mama. Wait, I didn't say that right, did I? I don't yeah. want, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't say no. I cannot call her Sophronia. I cannot <laughs> say that. Miss. <laughs> the, I call your mama Miss Lee and mama, so it's all right. right. Okay, okay, that works. But guys, thinking about it, the things that you that I wish I knew before I started investing, that was definitely number one. Don't put off tomorrow for what. Don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Meaning, don't continue to delay. Go ahead and start investing. And the beauty of that, even if you're saying to yourself, "I don't have money to invest." Guys, prioritize this for you. So you have to make that decision. There's so many simple ways today that you can start investing. Acorns app, the Stash app, the Stockpile app, make it so easy. You can go in with $5, y'all, yeah. and start investing. Get your feet wet because it doesn't become real for you until you actually put some money on it. We talk about Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. That's monopoly money, right? That's fake money. But the true emotion is not attached to it until you get started and you feel that hurt when you lose and you feel that euphoria when you win, right? So make sure that you go ahead and get started. There were some wins. I don't know if you guys have been uh, paying attention, but we've been following Amazon, seeing what Amazon has been doing throughout this process. We've been talking about Facebook. What are the ups and downs in that? We've been looking at that a little bit more closely. So making sure that you're looking at these things and don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. The number two thing that I would say um, that I struggled with were being aware of the fees or commissions that were tied to my investments. 
And it wasn't until I actually looked at the fees that were associated with the different types of things that I'm invested in. So for example, in your 401k or in your individual retirement account, whatever your retirement plan is, do you know what the fees are that are associated with it? Because oftentimes those fees that are associated with it, they remove a large chunk of the monies that can be invested in your favor. Instead, it's going to that fund manager's account. So make sure that you are aware of those fees and commissions and try to minimize those as much as possible. Now, you're not going to get away without paying fees and commissions or trades or whatever the case might be, depending upon what you're doing. But those are inevitable things that we need to be aware of so we can reduce it. It's just like JoJo shared her story about the the dollar menu and the dollar tree, uh, dollar tree right? Those little fees, those little $1 fees and commissions, those 99 cent here, are there, are those 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, you know, look at your fund so you know what percentage and fees and commissions are coming out. Make sure you are aware of that. 90% of people are not <clears throat> aware of the fees that are associated in their retirement funds. That doesn't come from Lynn, right? That's from the research. So make sure that you are paying attention to that. And number three, the number three thing I'll say to you guys is change is good. Oftentimes we will get into an investment and we feel that I got to stay, I got to stay, right? You'll see the stock going up. Oh, it's good. It's good, right? You, you're happy. You're making money. Then the stock starts going down. Oh no, it's bad. It's bad. Oh, but I'm going to stay just in case it might come back and then it gets too late and it keeps going down and you continue to lose because you're not strategic. You haven't developed a plan, right? That's going to allow you to maximize that opportunity. So don't stay in an investment too long, right? Is what I'm trying to get across to you. Change is good. Make sure that you're following up, that you're doing your research, that you're keeping an eye on it. And it's not a, I got to watch it every day type of situation, but you do have to watch it. It's not a set it and forget it, right? It's not right. a, I'm going to take this $100 out of my account every paycheck and put it into my retirement and just let it be. It doesn't work like that. Right. Because we always see you always hear if you're paying attention, the information in the news about stocks going up and down and what's changing. What are those things that are influencing or impacting those changes within the markets? So you have to be aware of that, guys. Those are the first three things I wanted to share with you that I wish I knew before I started investing. So in looking at this, I want you, I want to ask you a question and you tell me where you see yourself. Are you person number one? Or are you person number two? Person number one basically says, I can't invest. I have two kids, a husband. I got bills on top of bills. I got credit card debt. I got student loans, and I work 50 hours a week. It's just not realistic for me. Or are you person two? I have to invest. I have two kids, a husband. I got bills on top of bills. I got credit card debt, and I'm working 50-plus hours a week. This is something I have to do for my family. Which person are you, guys? The things I wish I knew before I started investing, I shared those with you. But the difference between these two people is one uses it as an excuse. The other uses it as a reason to That's now right. get to their next. So what are you going to do? You can move forward or you can stay still, but you can't do both. <laughs> Try it in your car. <laughs> Try to press your brake and your gas at the same time and see what happens. You ain't going nowhere. No. You're going nowhere fast. You might do a spin out, right? You might be spinning around in a circle if you had a little bit of momentum, but you're going nowhere fast. Mm -hmm. Because that's what I say to you. Make sure that you go ahead and start investing today. And it doesn't matter how your age, guys. It does not matter whether you're 20, you're 40, you haven't started investing, or you're 60. There are things that every one of us can do. Mm -hmm. If you're still alive, 
There's still an opportunity. Why? Because we're called to build generational wealth. We're called to leave an inheritance for our children's children. I didn't make it up, y'all. I didn't write it. I'm just telling you what's in the good book, all right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us for this financial confession and conversation. I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yes, I said it, America's number one. And I definitely um, want to invite you guys to join us in the Women Who Invest group. If you'll go over to bit.ly slash wwinvest, take a look around. There's a free course over there, a free video course that you can actually uh, review before joining our group. Um, but we want you to get in, get involved, get with a like-minded community that's going to get you to your next. There's no reason for you to stay in that same place that you are, even if you don't join us, right? Mm -hmm. Join someone, find you somebody get started guys there's no reason for us to continue to delay all right that's it for me guys i'm passing it over to my co-host miss jojo america what is it Leah the Powell, only. crazy specialist yes, yes the yes. only one and there's no better place to be than here with her yes, yes right. ma'am <laughs> that is right let me tell you my boy let me i talked a little just a little bit too much yesterday so <laughs> My voice is reminding me who is in control. But, uh, uh, and I, I have a quick story. So I always have an epiphany, not always, but this is the second epiphany I've had on a plane, get ready to get on a plane. I, I don't know if I shared the first one, but this is the second one. So <clears throat> I got up that morning to leave. Lynn, no, I, I wasn't feeling well. And I was like, oh my God. And then was like, well, if you get up and move around, you might feel better. Miss biology major over here. <laughs> I got up and I moved around. And I was like, Lynn got me up here moving around. I don't feel better. I was sick. I digress. I got up and I was moving around. And so I get to the airport and I'm reading a book. I don't even have it here with me. And I'm reading this book about the unseated soul. And I, it, for those of y'all know, I hate... I hate heights and I'm scared of flying. So I was reading this book, trying to calm my nerves. I didn't want to eat because I was like, oh, I'm going to be sick, blah, blah, blah. And then I came across this paragraph and it's too much for me to explain, but it basically made me come up with this question for everybody else. And then I think on June 16th, I'm going to go so in debt with this. Y'all going to hate me. Good morning, Terrence. It's called, are your, the question is, are your fears hereditary because when you stop to think about it where did your fear come from and so this it literally was maybe two paragraphs and I think my mother's on here so I'm using her for an example I love you mama so here's the example and this is what made me think of and the more I read it the more and then Lynn I would love to talk about this about how uh, your fears are associated with your money and how those are hereditary. Because I, when I tell you, I, brought, I had a breakthrough epiphany. Jesus is good. So, good morning, Charlene. Good morning, Terrence. So, I was thinking, Jojo, where did my fear of heights and flight come from? I, I have no idea. Because as a kid, I fell out of trees. I climbed them. I did jumps off of them. I rode bicycles and did flips in the air. I wasn't, you know, whatever. I was just having fun. I even tied a towel around my bedpost and climbed out my second story bedroom. I'm just saying, I had no fear of heights or anything. And I just knew I was going to travel the world. And getting on a plane never, ever crossed my mind for me to be afraid of. And then it made me stop and think, my mother is afraid of flying. And then, which makes it crazy because she wanted to be a stewardess when she was growing up. She wanted to be a stewardess. She had went to school and she said she stopped going. She didn't go on to become a stewardess. She said, because the plane stopped dropping out the sky and she was not going to do it. So it made me think about where did her fear of flying come from? Because clearly she was going to be a stewardess. So we go back to her mother who may have seen, you know, flying is a new thing. Her daughter wants to try something new. Oh, my God, there's a plane accident. Sophronia, you cannot get on that plane because they falling out the sky. And so my mother adopted her mother's fear. And unbeknownst to you, because, you know, you live in it, you don't think about it, you're passing your fears along to your children. 
Jojo, you know, I can't be flying. The Lord didn't give me wings to fly yet, so I can't get on no plane. He didn't make me a fish, so I can't get on no boat. <laughs> but we are passing those fears along to our children, and we don't even know it. And then when that hit me, I was like, oh, my goodness. And when I tell y'all, the fear went away, the nausea went away, and I had a 40-minute flight from one airport to the other. And then I tell everybody I reenacted the running in the airport scene because I was at A22 and had to get to C22 in Dallas and catch a train. Lynn, woo, honey, I ain't never run so fast. Before. And I only had 10 minutes to do it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But in all of that, there was no fear. I laid back. I even had some pretzels and something to drink. Watched a movie. <laughs> I giggled my little self to death. I had a great time. And then I was like, oh my goodness, how long have I been holding on to something that was passed along to me that doesn't belong to me? It doesn't belong to me at all. So why continue to carry that? And so of course I had to share that with the girls. I was like, I don't want to pass the fear because Courtney is like, oh, I can't get on the plane. Um no, my, you will not see snakes. You're not going to see snakes on a plane. <laughs> Ooh, you might see a dog or two. Uh, you might see some a dog big dogs. Right? You will see a dog and some babies, but you won't see a snake. And so I had to realize I don't have to carry on something that was passed down to me. Now, my mother, Ma, you are free to go be a stewardess right now. You want me to call up Delta, American Airlines. We can go make that happen for you. It's never too late to go be a stewardess and fly the world. Go knock yourself out. So I'm telling you guys, don't allow your things that have been passed on because your parents, parents, parents may not have understood how the process worked or how things went because every generation experiences something new, but don't allow that to hinder you. And the same thing. So while I was in that, I broke it down with my finances, which a whole nother story, because we got to go. And so I will talk about that later. I'll talk to Lynn about that, and then she can share that, because it, it was deep. So today, I want y'all to think about what fears of yours are hereditary? What are you afraid of now that your parents told you to be afraid of? or that you saw them afraid of, and because you want to be like your mom and daddy, you are now afraid of. I think that's right. a great, good morning, Ricky. I think that's a great, great thought to think about. And have freedom from that. And when I tell y'all I was free, and I got off that plane like two hours, oh, we two hours already? Because going, two hours like, Father God in heaven, help me, Lord. I'm not going to make it another two seconds. How I'm going to do this. I was so glad to see Graham. But coming back after I had that epiphany, I was like, oh, my goodness. So think about that today. What fears are you passing on to your children that are hereditary? What's so funny, Lynn? <laughs> I was just laughing at you. I did not know you were afraid of planes mm -hmm. because when you got to the room, y'all don't ever share a room with JoJo. Let me tell y'all this because she will not stop talking. I was just like, oh my gosh. I'm over there. I'm like, I am so sleepy. And this chick, she just keep on talking and talking. I was like, no! I'm like, oh, Lord. Let me tell y'all something. Lynn will go to sleep. Why are you talking? She don't... Lynn, will look. Lynn will look at you and roll right over and go to sleep. <laughs> no fail warning. Not, okay, I'm shutting it down for the night. I'm steady talking. Click, click, click. I said, Lynn, you hear me? I don't. I look over there. Lynn done rolled over here under the cover. Yes, I am a talker. I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm guilty of that. But I love you, Lynn. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. You're going to have to get your own room next time. <laughs> I was like, is she still talking? I woke up, JoJo still talking. <laughs> yes. I am a talker. I was talking to the TV at that point because Lynn had went to sleep. So I needed somebody to listen to me. And then Lynn up at 445 with lights. I said, Lynn, <laughs> what time is it? She said, oh, I don't know. Probably 5 a.m. And what are you doing, Lynn? I'm just getting some work in. I'll roll over and put my head under the cover. 
I said, let me get on up. Because then it's not turning off in nail light, nor computer, nor phone. So let me get on up. But we had a great time, y'all. I can't wait. I hope you guys join us for the Fearless Morning Show, the two days we broadcast it live from San Antonio. I love Texas. Texas loves cheese. They put cheese on everything. I didn't realize how much cheese they eat on everything. So, but I had yes. a good time. We have fun. So, all right, guys, that is awesome. it for the Fearless Morning Show. Lynn, you want to tell them where they can find you? Yes, guys, you can find me here on, of course, um, Facebook. Yes, that's where we are, Facebook, as Lynn Demons. But you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter as Demons Speak. That's Demons, not Demons. Demons, D-E-M-M-O-N-S, Speak. Also, guys, I want to take the time out to invite you to our uh, event, The Great Escape Mini, on June 16th. Save the date. Put it on your calendar. Don't put it right now, but as soon as we disconnect, go and put that on your calendar. <coughs> Save the date, June 16th. And JoJo will be sharing a link for you guys. We have an amazing experience uh, set up for you guys at the Circle and Moon location in Roswell, Georgia. Um, where we're actually going to be going in and doing the work in your life and your finances. So if you're person number two that I explained earlier, person number two who has um, said that you have to invest, that you made a decision, that you have the debt, you know you have debt, you know you have credit cards, you know you have kids and a husband, you know you have student loans, but you have to do this for your family, then we definitely want to see your face in the place so that we can go over this information with you, so we can walk you through the process. Not doing it alone, not you know, pass and go and trying to collect $100. We're going to walk through this step by step so you can now finalize how you want to invest. What are the steps you want to take for your situation and your circumstances? That's June 16th at the Circle and Moon location. Y'all, it's called the Great Escape Mini right? Mm -hmm. It's the great escape mini where we're going to have some true <clears throat> confession and conversations and we're going to do the work. So mm -hmm. bring your laptops, bring your computers, bring your iPads, bring your devices so that we can go in and do the work on June 16th mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock a.m. Guys, it will be amazing. You don't want to miss it. That's all I got to say. You do not want to miss it if you're ready to invest and get to your next and you're ready to live past crazy in your life. We're going to do it. So it's come and do it with fun. us. Yep, it's going to be it's going to be hands on so come ready to do the work. So all right guys, so that's June 16th. Don't forget to share the video, comment. Also if your friends and family do not have Facebook, we do have a YouTube channel. So make sure that you are sharing that as well so that they can binge watch the Fearless Morning show all they want to. And of course, don't forget the Be Fearless jewelry. Oh, you can get you some earrings and your bracelet. Lynn got her bracelet. Lynn, did you like your bracelet? I love my bracelets, guys. They look so much better in person than they look when she just shares it on the video. They look amazing. Mm -hmm. Especially, I thought I was all that with my Be Fearless bracelet on. With her blue one. She was like, oh, Lord, it matched my blue shirt. Perfect. <laughs> It was, yeah, it's amazing, guys. So go over there and check it out. It's well worth the $10, especially for those bracelets. I And I am not a jewelry person, but I definitely will wear my bracelet. You don't ever see me with earrings or a necklace, but I will wear a bracelet. You hear yeah. me? And those are, I mean, they're beautiful. They're not too heavy because sometimes some jewelry is too heavy on you. Right. That's just my personal experience, and I don't like it. But they're yeah. uh, they're just the perfect way, and they look gorgeous in uh, person. So go over and check those out, guys. All right, guys. I hope my name is Yamitra Jojo Wado as we close out. Thank you for joining the Fearless Morning Show. I am the only Live Past Crazy Specialist. So what better place to be than here with me? I hope everybody has an amazing Monday. We will see you here bright and early tomorrow morning at 7.15. And I will be posting a link so that you can go ahead and purchase your ticket for June 16th and get ready to meet uh, Lynn and I and just get some great, great information. I promise you, you're going to love it. It's going to be some. And here's my pet peeve. And Lynn knows this because I probably talked about it so much. I hate oh, yeah. going somewhere when people give me fluff. I don't need all the talking. I don't want all that. I want you to say, JoJo, step one. JoJo, step two. 
Right. And so that's what I'm about. There's not going to be a whole lot of fluff. We're going to go straight into action items. And lean is the exact same way. So when you come, you don't have to worry about is it what all the extra is going to be. We're going to get straight to work and give you, you know, because we value your time and your money. So we're going to give you what you come there for. So um, you can expect that. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you here bright and early in the morning. Have a good one. Signing off.